And uh, you said that the switchover is oh, happening. Oh, yes. So you remember you see me jumping up and down over here on yes. the side of the uh, I, news desk. I like the switchover, Gil. This is um, good news to me. And oh, I have a, a special shout out to one of our loved co workers, Tina Detel. She's the best. She is off today, but doing it so nicely on Twitter and reporting that over here in southeastern Connecticut, there is some now freezing rain and sleet kind of taking over, less snow falling. This was the magical hour, just like a magician. It was going to change, and it's happening. I've also had Mitch and Larry, so more than one report in Greenwich with all sleet falling down there. And We popped up a Norwalk camera a short time ago, and maybe Robert could do it. Oh, I hate putting them on the spot in the director booth on the other side of the wall, but it did show a better visibility in Norwalk because it's changing over even there. So this changeover is happening and it's going to move up into the state slowly but surely. If you're watching from Middletown, Portland, though, North Haven, Waterbury, even Cheshire and uh, Bethany, you still have more snow to go. Hey, the visibility has improved here. We were saying we couldn't see you over there in Milford. Now we can see, so there is a little bit of mixing. Also, we talked earlier about how those snowflakes get bigger and fatter right before the changeover, and we are seeing those big, fat mashed potato flakes moving through the screen here in Stratford on the edge of the Housatonic. So that is a sign of changeover and changing times. And again, uh, Rick was on talking about the roads in New Haven, very slippery. True story, the ground is still very cold, but even look at I-95. Hey, there goes some of the men and women from the DOT. Look at this. We caught the plow convoy here in our camera right at the edge of Long Wharf. One, two, three, four of them, five of them right here on this stretch. Six of them. Can we get seven? Do we hear seven over here? Nope, that's it. So six DOT trucks getting ready to treat this corridor up over the Pearl Harbor Memorial Bridge. And uh, again, it's only 28, so that is a concern. If it does switch to rain, that's going to freeze up on everything. So I would just advise you to hold up before cleaning the walkways and the driveways. I know for some of you, you have to get out there and do it. But keep in mind that exposed pavement, once it rains, could be an hour or hour and a half of straight ice out there. So be very careful. Hartford snowing and 25 degrees. Even the visibility here has increased just a little bit. Uh, we are still not finding any 33s or 34s. So it is freezing or colder across the state. And that means slippery. Even if it does turn to liquid and you you put your windshield wipers on, that's going to cause ice to form under your tires. So again, if you can sit out and hold out before getting out there on the roads, it will be safer. Even Bethel is only 24 degrees. We still have some more snow to add up. I think most of it, though, at this point is pretty much on the ground, except up there around and north of Waterbury. You may get an additional two inches on top of what you have. So that'll put some of you at seven inches up there in the upper left-hand side of the state. Uh, temps do go above freezing this afternoon for most of the state, except up there around Bradley International. If you have a trip to make up to the airport, allow tons of extra time so you can get up there safely and uh, mostly dry for the evening hours. Sure, you can get those holiday parties in. It's not going to be completely clean on the roads, but the snow will be done falling. The rain will be done falling. It just may be a little slushy and sloppy on walkways and parking lots. Four to six most of the state. Thank you. So many people. Usually I get all that hate mail. It goes into a folder. I check that. It's empty. A lot of love coming in with this forecast. Uh, so I'm very thankful and thanks to uh, Storm Team 8. All of us work together on this forecast uh, with Fred, also uh, Kevin, and of course Sam, who is out there in Waterbury. We'll check in with him coming up. Above freezing for the afternoon, but Steph, we're going to continue to track this changeover as it comes up to the shoreline now and then continues to kind of chew away at the state. Also want to let you know it's going to rain tomorrow. We're going to be in the 50s tomorrow morning. Wow. Some may be speaking, uh, thinking <laughs> speedos tomorrow morning, but let's slow down. 50s tomorrow morning and then quiet for the early part of the week because I feel like we just haven't showed this too much this morning, but there you go. And then uh, maybe some rain toward the end of the week. But uh, wild weather here. I mean, we still have some changes to go today. 
Absolutely incredible that it's snowing now. We're talking about 50s tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, and it, probably early in the morning when you're here on Good Morning Connecticut. Oh, my goodness. Uh, 6 to 8 a.m. could be 50 to 53 degrees outside. Wow. Well, Wild stuff. Well, do that holiday shopping tomorrow. Just enjoy It'll be today a lot safer. indoors. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And watch us right here. Yeah, we're that's still right. going. That's right. Strong, we're too, on until 10 a.m. Let's see one that's of those. Right. All right. Go. We're showing off the guns here. <laughs> For weather updates anytime, make sure you download our free Storm Team 8 app. You'll get the latest on this storm. And Very of course, helpful. all the other ones that happen this mm -hmm. winter, hopefully not too many. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll also get video forecasts from our meteorologists, current conditions, live radar, traffic conditions, and of course, closings and delays. And hit us with that hashtag WTNH weather on Twitter and uh, Facebook.